Hey, welcome to my new YouTube video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about my legend run with Slowbro. Uh, I challenged myself to hit legend with Slowbro in four weeks, uh, whether that was normal or Galarian Slowbro, and uh, I succeeded. I was one uh, of the first 10, I think, to hit legend. First 10, 15, I don't know. Uh, that was really fast, which is really nice. Uh, I challenged myself because I hit uh, legends really early always um, and now I wanted to use something you know <laughs> that's not really meta to make it a bit more challenging um, and challenging it was uh, I really struggled to make Galarian Slurbro or normal Slurbro work Great League Remix I had a lot of Mandibus that I had to try and avoid and if you know if Slurbro was on Mandibus or Obstacle it was basically top left for me uh, and uh, in, in, in Ultra Remix, it's weak to Gfist, Nido Queen. Well, Nido Queen is kind of iffy. It's playable, but it's a bit iffy, you know. Mandibas, Umbrian, uh, Scrafty, Politos isn't great either. Um, Deoxys is, is tough. And there's probably more like Rage Steel. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, the team I hit Legends win in, in the last three sets, I think. Um, I ra rotated a lot. I had trouble. I, I struggled really with uh, finding the right team to 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 gain points with. Uh, I rotated between Polytoad with Deoxys, Manibus, G Fisk, uh, what else? Umbrian. I think I used Umbrian too. I used Scrafty, Nido Queen. Uh, I used a lot. Um, a lot of them worked uh, and some of them didn't. Uh, I used real hard meta with Slurbro simply because uh, Slurbro on its own is bad really needs hard team support um, and once you have a strong core like Gfist Mandy is just too good Deoxys Mandy too good Gfist Deoxys too good you know <clears throat> then you can make a Pokemon like this uh, like Galarian Slurber also work right it, it can be a good sweeper uh, but my movesets uh, Mandy Buzz, I run Air Slash. Air Slash is just great in this meta. Like, you already beat Ghosts with Snarl, but now with Air Slash, you also beat Fighters. Um, the only downside is G Fisk, but uh, yeah, I'm really weak to G Fisk in general anyway. Uh, the thing is with Galarian Slurber, I always find, my, find myself double weak to something, you know? Uh, so I couldn't run something really balanced. I really like balanced teams, but I could not make that with Galarian Slurber at all. On Galarian Slurber, I run Poison Jab, Psychic, Focus Plus. I have Psychic for like Jellicent's um, because I found myself running into Ghosts a lot with Galarian Slurbo and I want to hit those. Psychic is a pretty good move uh, with Stab, so <clears throat> I just have like three typings coverage there. Uh, Focus Plus basically is necessary to hit uh, Dark types and Steel types. Uh, one more thing about uh, the Pokemons I use. Uh, I know people have opinions on it, uh, especially <laughs> on YouTube. Um, <clears throat> G Fisk, I got it with the with the first Stun Fisk event, I think. Uh, you know, I just went cycling with Toe, Easy Claps. We just got the the Excels and Mandy Bus. I'm not really free to play. I hatched a lot of Wallabies, and at some day, I didn't even need to walk this one. Uh, I just had so many Vullaby uh, Excel at some point, I didn't even notice. I was like, yo, wait, I can make one. Well, let's do it. So yeah, um, let's get into these battles. The first one against King Rayquaza. Let's see what he got. He got a Mew lead. Um, so I, I knew his line already. We played uh, quite a couple times. Um, I know he had a Typhlosion and a Slurpuff. And since I have Mandy Buzz, I kind of need Switch. Um, but if I don't get Switch, I need the Shield Adventures to one-shot the Typhlosion. Um, I always bait until I don't. But the thing, what I also found playing with Jeevis lead is that a lot of people shield the first move. Um, sometimes if they shield the first one, they might even double shield. Um, a lot of people all in this elo, uh, they're familiar with Twitch, they're familiar with Twitter, they're familiar with YouTube. Uh, a lot of them know me, um, so they know I have Jeevis, <clears throat> and then they want switch. Uh, which you'll see here. I don't know if he knew my team. I, I don't really know King Rayquaza uh, other than that. I know he's on Twitch. Um, but yeah, he, he might not have Slowbro, then he needs Swap for sure. But now I have the Shield Advantage, which I wanted. I will clean this up with my Mandy Bus. I'll take whatever move, and then I should be able to clean up with my uh, my Slowbro. Um, but especially that thing I said, people know that I have Slowbro, is, has been very tough for me. Uh, most of the times because when I was running DD and uh, no, I was running Mandy lead and DD safe swap and G bro in the back 
um, they would, and I had an A9 lead, right? The only really bad lead for, for Mandibus there. They would just stay in with their A9 just because they know I have Slurro in the back and they can just align their G-Fisk instead of bringing their G-Fisk into uh, the Deoxys. So that's that's been a really tough on me. That's been really tough on me. People uh, knowing that I have Slurro. I focus plus there because Psychic does about 50%, but if he has a really high IV, he might survive and he gets to Blossom and then I lose. So I take no risk, I just focus plus that thing. With Psychic this, this is kind of where Sludge Bomb would be nice, but it's not necessary. That's the first win. I also need to tell you that uh, these are battles from my uh, stream. So, and during my stream, um, I asked Toad Tactical if I could use, if I could watch some of his stream meanwhile, because my queue times were very long. I waited about 30 minutes for uh, for one or two battles, which was just insane. That's why you might see uh, some text uh, showing up in between. It was called the Do Tactical Show when I was uh, when we had his stream up and uh, roasting his battles. Um, so this is also kind of a weird one. Um, this person does not even over farm. He can clearly over farm here. So again, I don't know if they don't. I don't know if, I, if they know my team, but it's a weird play, right? You want to farm down with, with the A9, right? Uh, Air Slash Aerial Ace definitely doesn't kill there yet. Um, so maybe he likes already knows the team, but knows that I might be able to win on timer. So, uh, which is kind of smart. I mean, if you know I have Galarian Bro in the back, you just need to get ready for your A9. And then my Pro uh, <laughs> likely doesn't have a lot of targets. The only thing it really does well against is like Machamp and uh, A9. Even my champ's not the best though. But since a lot of people ran stuff like uh, Poison Double Dark, uh, charms have become more common. And that has been working very well for me because Galarian Bro eats charmers. So that's really nice. It's not weak to Ice Weather Ball and like uh, Nido Queen is. Uh, yeah, it's Umbria in the back. That's just top left. So Barusama, good, very good Japanese player. Played him a couple times. Again, I know his team. Um, Actually, I didn't know his second bomb, but what I know is that Japanese players, they love A9. They love A9. If you don't see it in the lead, it's usually in the back. Uh, also, Snarl, Mandibus with Dark Pulse. I've played it myself. Actually beats G-Fisk. Since I know he has A9 in the back, I need switch here. But I know I lose the ones and the twos. Especially since he got a really fast uh, Snarl in somehow and somewhere. He's timing very well, I'm timing very well. This is a very even matchup there. You can see the letters it's because uh, we, I changed scenes during my Twitch stream. <clears throat> but yeah, since it's A9 and there was something else uh, I, I didn't remember at the time, um, but now I know it was a Pharaoh Thorn that's in the back. Um, so at this point, if my opponent knows, and you'll never know if people save teams, if they write them down, you know? If people are very competitive, they might write teams down to get high to the leaderboards. They might do that, uh, which is a very good strategy in my opinion, I respect it. But if they know that, they know they need switch too. So let's see what they do. So they let it go. It was the Ferrothorn. So let's say he did know. Um, my Slurbro would have nuked his backline, right? It would have folks blasted. This this Ferrothorn, it's it's cute, but it's not gonna hit my Slurbro very easily. Um, you know, it's, it gets slow to its bigger charge moves, if it has, it doesn't even have Flash Cannon. So Slurbro is in a good spot. And there's the Charm A9, I already knew, I already knew. Like, uh, he runs that, DFH runs that, there's more Japanese player who run that. I'll just throw the move here, because I wanna, I want to make sure I burn that shield just in case he somehow blizzards me. I don't know. Throws a move here. It's a Psy Shock. Uh, Slurbro is not weak to Psychic. I am Poison, but I'm also Psychic, so it's neutral. Uh, he definitely could have gone to a second Water Ball there, I think. Maybe not because I would outpace him. Uh, but then I would just throw, right? Then I would just throw the move. <clears throat> the next match. It's this one. This one is extra sped up, just for you. Um, if you don't like like timeouts, you might want to skip a minute already. Because what, what we're going to see here is he's going to ball beam the whole time. 
and then uh, he comes back in with Mandy and he throws Arrow Ace the whole time. And this uh, takes a while again. Don't have to shoot anything there. Again, this is such a dominant matchup for, for Mandy Bus. It's just it just does what it's good at. <clears throat> but it also gets obnoxious. Um, usually I would be like, you know, screw this, I'm gonna swap out. Because this is boring. But I can't, I can't have my my Slurbro on on the on the Mandy bus potentially. It's one of the worst things. Focus Bus does like forty percent, you know. I swear that was not an exploit. <laughs> it was just an accident, <clears throat> or I was making fun or something. I don't know. But at this point, I I have I have in mind that the timer will come up because we've already had so many charge moves. So here's the problem. He also could not swap out. Because he had a Venusaur in the back. Venusaur is very weak to Mandibus. Uh, Venusaur also doesn't do great against Slurro, except in the two shields, especially with energy advantage. Because he will outpace me to these moves. Frenzy is not a weak move. Fine whips add up. I'm getting into Frenzy Plant range here, and he will outpace me. But he swaps, uh, and that's, that's I guess, kind of good. Um, if he got to the move there, maybe he would have won on HP, but I don't think so. I see this one's cut off a bit. There you go. So here we have, uh, I think this is my last battle. Uh, I had a bad lead, so, you know, I needed this set to clutch the, the legend, the legend elo. I need this set to clutch the legend elo. Um, this polydot has blizzard. You know, Wendy can take blizzard, I don't even care. Um, and I want to keep my shields up, kinda. Here he goes straight weather ball, which is good for me. I definitely don't have to shoot that. He needs three weather balls from there to kill me. He definitely should have went for a blizzard there. I'm not planning on shooting anything here. I might even go for switch if he doesn't. But um, yeah, he really wants to keep switch there, which makes me think there's a fighter in the back. If that's my champ, it's good. If it's scrafty, it's... Mm. You know, I have to shoot advantage for my bro now. So we can, we can do things here. We can do things. When the ball comes through, it's fine. I'll farm down with the bro. We know he does have Earthquake, so... Okay. He doesn't throw it anyway. Yeah, he, he lets himself get farmed down because he wants something in the back to align to my G-Fisk. Out comes a Zard. You don't see this a lot in these elos. In comes a Psychic from the bro. Does a lot of damage. Uh, Zard is pretty fragile. And I get all my moves through here too. That, that's, that's very uh, fortunate for me. <clears throat> but he will get to another Dragon Claw. I don't want to shield it. If it is Scrafty in the back, I, I need to catch here. I need to get Earthquakes and I need to get two Psychics. Or Focus Plus, I don't know. It, it's tough. But this is my champ. Um, which is kind of better, I guess. Oh, he seemed peace. It would be very tough. I'm tempted to shoot, but if I do, he will win CMP and Rock Slide, my bro. So I can't. The counts are double resistant on Slurbro. This is actually where Slurbro is good. Actually, he's not even bad against the whole team because he has no XL meta. Um, this doesn't matter. I just shield this. I caught the move from the Zard, so he has no energy on that. Um, and that got me to Legend there. In hindsight, the catch wasn't necessary, only if it was... Uh, like maybe Toxicroak or something, you know, then it wasn't necessary. Uh, but in this case, it was not. Um, I must say these, 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 I, I, I don't really start with a lot of confidence uh, when I stream Slowbro, basically because uh, many play on the on the leaderboards or high elo, they're familiar with who they play with uh, or against. Uh, it's usually a lot of the same people in the top of the elo, especially, and especially if you're a streamer, uh, people check out your streams often if they're like bored, uh, because people on the leaderboards, they're pretty passionate about PvP. Um, and that makes it tough, you know, if people know I have bro, that made, that made, I think that was the biggest challenge here. I think that was the biggest challenge. Um, so yeah, that was my legend run. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, and uh, yeah, I think next season I will do Ludicolo, you know, I think I'm really good. Maybe even, uh, I know it's someone's mascot, but I think I'm better with it. So, you know, I'm, I'll prove it by then. Um, anyway, I hope you liked the video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.